Today we're going to be talking about multiplying fractions using a number line. We're going to be talking about why we split the number line up the way we do and how we can come up with a solution to multiplication problems involving fractions using a number line. We're also going to demonstrate um, these same problems using area models. We will also be just solving uh, the problems numerically as well. Go ahead and take a moment to write down your notes. You can pause the video. All right, let's get started. The first one we're gonna look at is one third times three fourths. Now, I think it's important to know that sometimes it is helpful if we remember that times also means of. So in this case, one third of three fourths seems quite helpful to me in understanding how to split the number line up. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking one third of each of three fourths. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at our second number. The second number is going to tell us how to split up our initial number line. We're going to first look at the denominator, which is a four. So between zero and one, we need to split this up into four equal pieces. So we're going to be splitting it up into fourths. So how I like to do this is a, I like to find the center. So that will be one half. And then if I take half of each of those halves, that will give me fourths. So that will be four equal pieces on our number line. So let's go ahead and label. Of course, this is zero fourths. The first one here is one fourth. The second one is two fourths or one half, three fourths. And then of course, one whole is four fourths. Now, the next part involves using the one third. So we're only going to take one third of each of our fourths. So let's think about what do we need to split each of our fourths into three pieces, okay? And that comes from the denominator of the first number in our multiplication sentence. So let's take a look at this section between zero and one fourth. We need to split it into three pieces because we're only going to be taking one third of each fourth, okay? So you're gonna go ahead and between each of your fourths, you need to split it into thirds, okay? So think of it as like its own little model almost. Between two fourths and three fourths, we will also have thirds. And between three fourths and four fourths, we will also split into three pieces. Now, if you look, you can see that we have actually split from zero to one into lots of pieces. Let's figure out how many pieces we actually have. So we have, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So we actually have 12 pieces and we're only going to be shading a certain number of those, all right? So let's look at our first set of fourths. So we need one third of one fourth. So we only need this very first portion of our first one fourth, okay? You can see there are two more portions here that we are not using, okay? Now let's go to our next group. We're gonna go to our second fourth. So in here, we have three pieces as well and we're only going to be using one of those. So this one is our one third of this fourth. Now let's do our last one because we only, we're only doing three of our fourths. So here's one fourth, two fourths, and then three fourths. And we just need one third of this fourth as well. Now this is the fun part. Go back to kindergarten and count, okay? So we have one, two, three. So that is actually going to be your numerator. 
and then your denominator is your total number of pieces all the way up to one whole. So if you recall, we just counted that a moment ago and there were 12. So if you missed that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now, as you can see, of course, this can simplify. So three and 12 can both be divided by three. So we're going to end up with three divided by three on top, which is a one, and 12 divided by three on bottom, which is a four, so one fourth. So one fourth of this entire line is actually shaded. Now, let me show you on the area model as well. So we have one third on one side. So we're going to split horizontally into three pieces. And then I'm gonna grab a different color. Oh, and then I need to shade one out of those three. Then I'm going to do my three-fourths in the opposite direction. So here I need four pieces. So I like to split in half and then split each half and half to get fourths. And then I need three of those shaded. So one, two, three. Now, look for the overlap. You can see there are three that are overlapped, double shaded, and then the total number of pieces, we have three sets of four, so that's 12. <coughs> Notice we got the same exact answer, right? So we would simplify by dividing top and bottom by three, and we would end up again with one fourth. Now, if you work this mathematically, of course, just with the numbers alone, you would simply multiply the numerators. So one times three is three, time, and then multiply the denominators, and you would get the same answer. Of course, you would simplify this as well. And you can see each method will produce the same answer of one fourth. All right, let's take a look at number two. Number two, we have two fifths of two thirds. So first we need to split our two ends. Okay, so we have a zero and a one. In between the zero and the one, we need to focus on our two thirds. So we need to look at our denominator, which is a three. So we need to split this into three pieces. So let's do right there and right there. So we have zero thirds, one third, two thirds, and of course, three thirds, which is one whole. Now let's take a look at our other number. We're only gonna be taking two fifths of each third, okay? So in between each third, we need to split it up into five pieces. So fifths are a little bit tricky. There we go. Whoops. Okay, got it. Now, let's go ahead and shade. I might use a different color for this. <coughs> so, we're gonna do two fifths of each third, and there are two thirds that we're going to use. So, let's do two fifths. So, each of these little pieces, we're only gonna do two of them. So, there's one, and then there's two. On each one of these, we're just gonna do two fifths. Now, go to your second set. Between one-third and two-thirds, we're only doing two-fifths. One, two. And then that's it, because it's just two-thirds. You're only doing two sets of them. So let's count. One, two, three, four. So that is going to be our denominator, or our numerator, I'm sorry. And then our denominator we get by counting all the way, all the pieces between zero and one. So we have, well, I think it's five, one, two, three, four, five between each group of thirds. So five, 10, 15. So our denominator here is 15. And we're gonna check to see if we can simplify, and we cannot. 
So four fifteenths is our final answer there. Now let's do the number or the um, area model as well. We're going to do two fifths over on the side. So we need to split one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so you should have five equal pieces here. One, two, three, four, five. They don't have to be absolutely perfect. Just, you know, as, as good as you can do. And then two fifths. So let's do one fifth, two fifths. Now let's work on our two thirds. So two thirds, we're going to do our lines in the opposite direction. We need to split this into three pieces. So let's do one here. Whoops, uh-oh, don't give up on me, pink. And here. So we need two of those shaded because it tells us two thirds. So one, two. Now, if you can see how many are double shaded, four. That's your numerator. And then your denominator is going to be your total number of pieces. So 5, 10, 15. If you can't do that, just count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And it does not simplify. If you were just going to work this numerically, you would say 2 fifths of 2 thirds. You would multiply the numerators and then multiply the denominators and you get the same answer. All right, last one. We are going to multiply 1 half times 4 fifths. So we're taking 1 half of 4 fifths. So let's go ahead and set up our number line. The first step is always to just make a 0 and a 1. Okay? Now, we need half of 4 fifths. So we need to split this up into 5 pieces. So this is always, you know, what you do next. You say, well, between zero and one, I need five pieces. So, oh, I didn't do that very well. It's a little, it's a little messed up, but oh well. We're not perfect, are we? Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to go, let's go ahead and label zero fifths, one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four-fifths, and five-fifths. <clears throat> now, let's split up each of our fifths into halves, right? We have to split each one in half because of this, okay? It tells us. Now, we are going to take one half of each of four-fifths, okay? So we're going to take half of this, half of this, half of this, and half of this. So here we go. There's a half of this one. So half of the first fifth, half of the second fifth, half of the third fifth, and then half of the fourth fifth. So let's count. One, two, three, four. The four is going to be our numerator. And then the denominator we get by counting the total number of pieces. So we have two in each group. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four tenths, which actually does simplify. If you look, top and bottom can both be divided by two. So we end up with four divided by two is two, and ten divided by two is five. So two fifths is the final answer on that. Now let's do it with the area model. So one half. So we're first going to split this whoops, into halves. And we need to shade one of the halves. Then we're going to do four fifths on the top and go the opposite direction. Now, we have to split this into five pieces. So one, two, three, four, five. Now we need to shade four out of our five. And let's go the opposite direction, shall we? 
when I first started working with these area models, I was very confused. So I had to figure out how to break it down um, in order to explain to students. And now I actually really like them. I think they're, they're very helpful. Let's check out where we are double under or double shaded. We are double shaded in one, two, three, four of our um, boxes. And then how many total do we have? One, two, three, four, five, and then another five, so that is 10. As you can see, we got the same answer. And of course, that will reduce down to two fifths. Divide top and bottom by two, and you will get, sorry, two fifths. It's really hard to write like that. Mathematically, if, we just gonna, if we're just going to work it numerically, we would just say one half times four fifths, multiply numerators, four times one is four, two times five is 10. You would divide top and bottom by two, of course, and you would end up with two fifths once again. All right, homework tonight is 133, 134, and I want you to go back to 132 and do number four now. Now that you know how to work the number lines, you may go ahead and proceed with number four on page 132 from yesterday. Have a great day.